We'll guide you through how to install the baritone mod in Minecraft. If you find this guide useful then please consider subscribing and liking the video. The baritone mod is super useful and it's essentially a navigational tool in Minecraft. We'll be covering it in this video. First of all go and quit Minecraft and then what you need to do is come and open up a web browser. So first of all we need to go and search for Minecraft baritone like so. And then the official site is this GitHub site here at the top. So go and click on it. Now come over to the right and click on releases. You can then go into the most recent version, which is at the top here. And what we want to do is go and get the version for fabric. So we're going to get baritone standalone fabric here. Go and click on it. And at the top here, it says it's for Minecraft 1.20.3 and 1.20.4. So then what we need to do is we need to go back to the search engine and search for Minecraft fabric like so. We can then come to the fabric site and go and click on download and we can click on download again and the launcher will then download. And what we then want to do is get the fabric API. So click here, then go and click on files and we need to go and get it for 1.20.3. So select all game versions and you can then click on 1.20.3. Here it is, come over to the right, click on the three dots and click on download file. Now it will go and start automatically downloading. We're now ready to go and install it, but just before we get any further, a big shout out to the sponsor of this video, Apex Hosting. If we go and scroll down, we can check out some of the awesome features they've got. For example, DDoS protection, so your server is safe. 24 seven servers and support, so you can get the help anytime you need it. One click install mod packs and much more. If you're interested, I'll go and put a link down below in the description and in the pinned comment. And at the moment, you can get 25% off your first invoice. A big thank you to them for sponsoring this video. And now let's go and continue. So what we can do is come out of our web browser and come and open up your file explorer, come to your downloads, and here they are. And what we can then do is go and drag these onto our desktop like so, I just find it easier. So first of all, we need to install Fabric. So double click on the installer. What you then need to do is select the version and click on 1.20.3. Then go and click on install like so, and you've installed it, you can go and press okay. So you can then go and close off of it. And we need to go and open up Minecraft. So open up the launcher. In the launcher, you need to go to the top and click on installations. And we can then scroll down and you can go and find Fabric. So I got it for 1.20.3. I've got some other installations there as well. Come over to the right and click on the file folder icon and it will open up. And what we then need to do is scroll down and we can go and click on mods. And what you then need to do is drag in the API and also baritone as well. And you can then close it. Now, all you need to do is go and click on play to the right of the loader and Minecraft will go and launch. Just like that, it's gone and launched. So what we can do is go and click on single player and we can go and get into a world. I'll come into this one here. Here we are, I'm now in a world. And what I want to show you is we've got Baritone installed and also just some of my favorite features as well, just to go and show you and we can go and test it out. So if we go and open up the chat, you can go and click on the hashtag key and you can go and type in help, press enter press T to open the chat. And what you can then do is you can start seeing these different options and you can click on click to view next page and you can start seeing these different pages and you can then scroll back through them and you can go and see all these different things we can go and do with it. So one of my favorite things is the mine feature. So all you need to do is go and type in mine and then type in the block you want to do this with. So I'm gonna type in diamond underscore or like so. I'll just go and select my pickaxe and now it's going to go and start hunting for diamonds as you can see and it's going to go and then move different positions so I'm not doing any of this right now it's doing it all for me and as you can see it's now located the next diamonds like so and after it's finished these it will then go and start the next ones you can go and see that it's found where the diamonds are and it's now hunting if you want to go and stop this just open the chat and press stop like so. But as you saw there, I was about to go and start mining down. Next, I'm gonna do this for go to. So you can type in go to, and then type in the coordinates you want to do it with. I could do 100, 100, 100, and it's then gonna go and calculate it. And it's now gonna to go to that destination. As you can see, it's plotted it, and it's now going there, and it's gonna go and break blocks where needed. Instead of stopping it, you can always go and just type in pause like so. And then what I could do is go and type in resume and it'll go and start again. But yeah, as I, as I said before, it's got all these different options here. So for example, you could tell it to go and farm crops. Um, you can go and set goals, loads of different things. What's really useful as well is setting a home. 
So I could go and set this as home like so. And then what I could do is I could go and go really far away. I'll just go down here to give you an example. And you could then go and type in the command home like so. And it will then go and take you to that point. It's so useful. So if you guys found this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. We've got so many different Minecraft guides on the channel and so many more to come as well. So make sure you go and subscribe and leave a like for more. If there's anything specific you'd like to go and see as well, please consider leaving a comment with it in there with an idea and we'll go and research it and go and see if we can go and help you out with it. And also, if you're in need of a Minecraft server, make sure you go and check out Apex Hosting. A big thanks to them for sponsoring this video. We really do appreciate it. As I said, they've got so many awesome features, so go and check them out. As always, we hope we solve the problem today and we can also help solve your problem in the future as well. I hope you guys have an awesome day and I look forward to catch you when we can solve your problem again. Goodbye.